Right, I'm going to try and video this so I don't get caught a liar. So that's a, I don't know, that's a 3 8, maybe a 5 16. Um, that's a 4 fluke slot because it's got an all up middle, not all up middle, it's got a, the cutters don't go to the centre, so it's not a, um, an end mill. And that's a block of mile steel, I believe EM1A, which is what I ordered. I've set a depth of cut of 5 millimetres, um, and I've, I'm in half the thickness of the cutter, because that's something I wasn't sure about. So, I've just slowed it down because it were a, a bit fast. I did it up at 1,000, so I've slowed it down to 650. Let's try it at that and let's see where we go. Um, I don't know if this camera is going to get it, but we'll try. did bump off the end which makes you believe I had a bit of play in one of them gibs they are locked whether did I lock it? I did, I did, yeah mm. let's cut it alright get a close up of that so that's f five milli well Point nine eight deep on Z. Uh, so plunge in about half thickness at two six mil, just under six mil cut. Hmm, I'm impressed. Thanks, Jason. I never thought I'd do that. So. I'm going to run back up the other side. I don't, I don't want to come back up this side because that's climbing, isn't it? That way is traditional. Coming back, that would be climbing. Which I've been, well not advised, but I've, everything I've seen on YouTube, etc. They said, if you can avoid climbing, well, then don't do it. So I'm not going to, so let's bring this back to the other side and we'll come up the other side and then we'll keep going down. I don't, oh sorry, I don't want to, um, I don't want to go too silly because I'm, I'm an amateur, I don't know what I'm doing. Right, so I'm going to plunge in half thickness of cutter, which is roughly there. Look. So now we're coming this way. So 
can get a camera any closer. Bounce all over the place. Jason, I want uh, I want being aggressive enough for her. I want being too soft with machine. Expecting it to, uh, and you know what? Right, I've got to show this. What happened was, um, I had this undone when I was doing this job, this uh, x-axis power feed. Uh, 
I, I screwed this bed too far back that way and the lead screw dropped out of the nut and uh, I couldn't get it back in so I undid the jib adjuster and pulled the jib back I put it back but I haven't adjusted it properly uh, I'll put a picture on but there were loads of chatter and there was all ripples along that edge on the first cut I've just done that cut I just don't know whether that'll show it but that's lovely and clean all the way along and the bottom that's done a great cut both sides superb so I'm doing a traditional back traditional back to the and just narrow down until there's no left uh, if I'm doing that wrong tell me I want to know but that's mild steel that's something like 5 16 cut to 3 8 I don't know no it'll be 3 8 somewhere won't it maybe 7 16 it's an old imperial cutter I'll whip it out to show um, I just pop this down here and I'll just whip this cutter out shouldn't really because it's set for the job but I'll, I'll reset it again I'm that excited that I've actually got some progress So that's what I've used. It has got, oh no, I'm not going to say it got through whole colon, but it hasn't. But in quite a good nick, actually, then. And I got these, these came today. Oh, there you go, it's a 13. 64th, is it? But that's a four flute uh, slot, I guess, because it's not an end mill. Because it's got a dimple in the middle. But yeah, brilliant result at last. Right, I've got to show this because it's called a blooper. Uh, when I did the first back cut, this is Gib one adjusted right and it were chattering. And when I got to about there, this bit. And it's taken a tooth off. There. I don't know if I'm zooming in too far. Um, and the machine stalled. It just stopped dead. So press stop. Wound it back. Uh, yeah. So my fault. I knew there was something not right. So I adjusted that. And now there's no movement whatsoever. That's tighter. That were really slack before. And it's tighter now, obviously, because I've adjusted wedge in there, give in there. But yeah, I'm well chuffed. So that's got to go to the scrap bin. In fact, actually, could I? Probably not. It took me forever, wouldn't it, to sharpen that? I'd have to cut that right back. That's something else to learn, isn't it? I did one the other day. This one, because uh, Jason said, if you keep taking skims off top, you're going to um, wear these corners out and sure enough it did it wore them off uh, but I've got some little diamond files and I've had a go at it and I've got it something better than what it was it's usable lesson learned right